condition of care from pediatric to adult epilepsy care. A 17-year-old female with juvenile myoclonic epilepsy presents to pediatric neurology clinic for follow-up of seizures, which are well controlled with valproic acid monotherapy. She is accompanied by her mother, and during this visit, they inquire about whether the patient will have to transition to a neurologist who manages adult patients. They ask if the adult neurologist will be able to treat her epilepsy, ADHD, and anxiety together, all of which have been managed to this point by her child neurologist. They also have questions pertaining to driving privileges. What considerations are needed to prepare her for transition of care to an adult neurologist? Children with epilepsy that is expected to persist into adulthood are complex and diverse group. A transition plan should be based on the patient's epilepsy type, severity, and comorbid conditions. Patients with well-controlled epilepsy and normal intellect need to learn self-management skills, including how to take their medicines by themselves without prompting, how to call in for a refill, and how to recognize when they should seek help for a medical emergency. In addition, they need to know about the teratogenicity of anti-epileptic drugs they are taking and any other potential serious side effects. They should understand the impact of alcohol and substance abuse on their epilepsy and their medications. Other factors that should be addressed including driving eligibility and contraception. Patients with development cognitive and psychiatric comorbidities may need to continue adjunct behavior and psychiatric therapies into adulthood. Neurologists specializing in the treatment of adult patients must be aware of available resources for managing these comorbidities so that there is no gap in care. It's important to utilize a multidisciplinary approach involving social work, case management, physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, and behavior therapy as needed. Our patient last had an EEG over a year ago. Although she has been seizure-free in order to meet driving requirements, she may need a more recent study and further evaluation depending on her state of residence. Another issue to bring up with this patient is that valproic acid is highly teratogenic. Whenever possible, women of childbearing age should be offered medication with a lower risk of teratogenicity such as levetiracetam or lamotrigine. A referral to psychiatrists and or therapists may be needed for the management of her anxiety and ADHD, which are common comorbidities in patients with epilepsy. Introducing the patient and her family to her future adult neurologist can ease her transition. In contrast to transferring management, which is seen as a single event involving the handover from one team to another, transition is a dynamic and a structured process which involves planning, preparation, and involvement of a skilled team to ensure a seamless conditions of care from pediatric to adult services. For more information on transition issues from childhood onset epilepsy to adolescent to adulthood, including strategies for transition to adult care for use with epilepsy, please see the course resources.